Hey guys, this is Red and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today is Saturday and this only means that I have a new one command creation for you guys and again today I made some modern furniture in vanilla Minecraft, this time some modern kitchen furniture for your vanilla Minecraft world. Now one thing before starting this video I want to mention that I'm currently not using the normal microphone that I was using in my old videos because I'm currently not home and that's why you might see a bit of difference in the quality of the audio, now you know why. So, let's get started, if you want to import today's one command creation into your world, which is actually a two, one, two command creation, all you have to do, you have to give yourself a command block, using chat this command, give at p, command underscore block, and then you hit enter, and you get a command block into your inventory. Now, since this is a two command creation, what you have to do, place down two command blocks, one on top of the other, then you go in the video description, there's a link that will forward you to my webpage, and on my webpage you will find two commands. So you copy the first command and you paste it inside the bottom command block, you, then you click on done. And then you go, you scroll down at the end of the page of my webpage and you copy the second command that you will find there and you paste it on the upper command block and you click on done. Once you paste it, both the commands, make sure that you activate only the bottom one by clicking on this button, then on done and the machine will be generated in just a few seconds. Now, as you can see, today's machine is a bit big and this is because it has a lot of stuff added to it and uh, it turned out to be a really really nice one command creation so here you can activate or deactivate the machine and here you can of course get all the crafting recipes needed to craft everything added with this one command creation now of course i have everything here pre prepared in my inventory so let's get started with the crafting recipes now a kitchen is not a kitchen without a uh, table now let's drop down two quartz slabs here together with four sticks to craft of course a table spoon egg and you can use this spoon egg to place down a table wherever you want into your house or kitchen. Now this is a really tall and white table which looks really modern, but of course a table is paired together with some chairs. So let's drop down a quartz slab together with four sticks to craft a chair spoon egg. And now, yes, you can see that we have some really nice uh, tall chairs that fit really, really nicely and well together with this table. Now, of course, these chairs are functional, meaning that you can of course sit on them and it doesn't matter in which direction you guys are facing your body will always always turn in the right direction uh, i'm saying this because in my old one command creations i didn't add a little bit of code that solved this problem and basically you ended up having your head turned like in the other way and you looked really really creepy so here if you want to remove a chair um, you will have to do one really simple step. You take a lever and then all you have to do, you rename it inside a anvil, you rename it remove all capitals and you can take it in your inventory. Now I don't want to remove that uh, chair there, so I'm gonna place another one here and to remove a chair you just drop down one of these uh, lever and you will get the chair spoon egg back. If you want to remove the table, all you have to do, you destroy the block on which it is placed, which is this block here, and you will get this spoon egg back. All right, guys, we are back in our kitchen. Now, you can see that I have some items, a couple of items here in my inventory. It is because you can also place items on your table. So, for example, if we right click here, you can see that we can place, I place down some, oops, I don't want to sit down, I want to place an item right here. Let me find the, uh, okay, the hitbox of the invisible armor stand. And as you can see, you can also place two items on top of this table. So, the next crafting recipe allows you to create what is that? Yeah, it was a really nice uh, induction stove. So, let's drop down a iron block and a flint and steel to craft a stove. Now, this one you have to place it facing south, if I'm not wrong. Yes, you have to place it facing south. If you face another direction, it will be still generated in the same direction. So, make sure that you face south and it will face in the right direction towards you. So, as you can see here, we have a really nice induction stove and the actual stove done down here. Now, this is not only for decoration, but is actually a functional stove, meaning that you can uh, drop down some raw pork chops. Oh, and also you can see that this has a hitbox, like you can actually stand on it and you don't go inside it. Only if you go on the sides, you can kinda stay inside the stove and maybe cook yourself. All right, so now let's drop down a raw pork chop on top of this one. And you can see that we have some um, sound effects in a couple of seconds. Uh, yeah, you can see that. Uh, we have some smoke particles generated. This means that our pork chop is um, cooking and as you can see it turned uh, in this really nice color. We need to, need to wait another bit and there we go, we have a cooked pork chop in our inventory. Now the time you have to wait is about 20 seconds. Now this of course depends by the speed of your machine but as you can see it's a functional stove. Now sadly it works 
only for pork chop, it doesn't work for the other types of food. Then the next one is a sink, because of course we need a sink in our kitchen. And this one we craft it by dropping down two quartz blocks together with a water bucket and you will get a sink spoon egg. Oh yeah, also I forgot to mention it, but if you want to remove the stove, you, all, all you have to do, you have to destroy the block on which it was placed. Now let me show you guys how you do it. It's really simple, you place it here and then you destroy this block here and you will get the spoon egg back and all the armor stands, the visible armor stands will get removed from your world. Oh, and as you can see, we have another cooked pork chop. Now, let's place down the sink here, and as you can see, they connect uh, with each other. Now, if you place it on the left side of the stove, they will not connect, so place it on the right side of it. And as you can see, we have a really nice shape. We have here the top of the sink, and again, this one has a neat box, meaning that you can step on it, as you can see. And that's only for decoration purposes. It doesn't do anything else just then looking like a sink. Next crafting recipe here, we can craft some drawers. The way you do it, you drop down a block of quartz and a chest. No, it was two quartz blocks if I'm not wrong. What are you doing, Red? Uh, chest, two quartz blocks, yes, to craft a drawer. Now, these drawers are multi-directional, meaning that the way you look, for example, if you look in this direction, the actual drawers are facing towards you. If you look in this direction, you can see that it's facing the other uh, direction and so on. You can place them in all the four different directions. Now, these ones are really useful if you want to connect, for example, the sink and make a really nice corner kitchen like I did right now. And of course, you can place them up here on the wall and voila, look at how nice our kitchen looks now. Now, these ones again, they have a heat box, meaning that you can step on them. And that's pretty much it about these ones, except that you can again place some items on top of them. So I have here a couple of items and let me place, for example, I don't know, some raw fish, some raw salmon, a painting. And you can place any type of item that you guys want. Now, of course, if, if you place, for example, blocks, they will look a bit strange because this is made for items. The blocks will look like they are inside the drawer. Actually, it looks really, really nice. Okay, let me leave the fish there, the salmon. And yeah, look at how nice this kitchen looks now, really with this modern kitchen furniture command. And what else I have to show you, if you guys want to remove the drawers, again, you will have to take the lever, which is named remove, and you drop it on the drawer. As you can see, we will get all the spoon eggs back. And if we drop the lever again, you can see that we remove all of them, and we have the spoon eggs in our inventory. So yeah guys, that was it about today's command creation. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to drop a like under this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and you want to see more one command creations on this channel. As always guys, I want to wish you all a really nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. I want to thank you all for watching this video until the end and I'll see you all guys in my next video. See you. Oh, let me remove it. Bye.